Good morning, everyone. Um, I've got some exciting news for you. You probably didn't know, but October is National Chiropractic Month. So, in honor of the National Chiropractic Month, I'd like to share with you the chiropractic story, uh, the history of how chiropractic uh, came into existence, how it was discovered in 1895 by Dr. D.D. Palmer. Now, to get the full story, we've got to go back even before that to 1878. In 1878, there was a man named Harvey Lillard. Harvey Lillard was a, a janitor, uh, a custodian. And while he was doing his work uh, in cleaning office buildings, he was moving some furniture. And during this, he, he felt and heard a pop in his neck and upper back. And he immediately began to lose his hearing, began to get a roaring sound in his ears. It eventually degenerated to the point where he basically became deaf within the next few days. And uh, so Harvey still continued on with his work. And as I guess the providence of God would have it, he was working in the same building as Dr. D.D. D. Palmer, who was at that time a magnetic healer, but was really uh, starting to understand that there was something else going on inside the body, in particular with the nervous system. And uh, he thought that was really tied to all the health problems that we experience. So he, when he encounters Harvey and finds out about Harvey's situation and what happened to him, of course, he's very interested in this. And he asks him if he can examine him. And when he does, he finds a lump on his spine in his lower neck and upper back area. And he says, Harvey, you know, if, if this lump occurred when you lost your hearing, it's possible that if we can get it to go away, maybe we can get your hearing back. Well, and the rest is history, as they say, because Dr. Palmer that day delivered the first chiropractic adjustment to Harvey's neck, and then Harvey is reported to have said, I can hear the wagons in the streets. I can hear the wagons in the streets. And what he meant was in Davenport, Iowa, in those days, he was up on the, on the second floor floor of the uh, the office building there at uh, Brady and 3rd Street and there were these these uh, cable cars that would go up and down the streets and he could hear those again and so you know Dr. Palmer had discovered chiropractic but he originally thought he had discovered the, the cure for deafness and so he put out a big sign and said hey all the deaf people come on in and of course uh, it turned out that some of them got better, some stayed the same, some got worse. It just wasn't what he thought. But as he started to survey all these deaf people that he was adjusting, what he found out is that some of them got rid of headaches. Some uh, got rid of, of course, pain. Some had better digestion. Some were sleeping better. Some got rid of arthritis they thought they had. And uh, what he realized is that what he had discovered was really a key to something much bigger than just one symptom or condition. What he had discovered was that, number one, God created the body with an ability to heal itself. That right there is huge. If you don't get that, you're never going to understand how to be healthy because you'll always be looking outside the body instead of looking inside the body for your answers to improve your health. The second thing that he realized was that the brain and the nervous system was running everything that goes on inside the body. And so that is still true today, obviously. We call the nervous system the master system. The third thing he realized was if there's something interfering with those nerves and that communication between the brain and the body, then the body is not going to be able to do what it was designed and created to do. And if we can remove the interference, the body has its best chance to get healthy again and to stay healthy. And so I still love the chiropractic story. I love telling it. I love experiencing it. And I see it all the time in my practice. I have people come up to me almost on a daily basis and they say, 
you know, Dr. Clark, since I've been seeing you, I haven't had any heartburn. And I said, well, I never knew you had any heartburn to begin with. And they said, well, I didn't tell you, didn't think it was important. But your body knows. And when your body is able to do what it's designed and created to do, you're going to be healthier. So what we're doing this month in our office to our patients, we're offering a special opportunity for you to refer a friend or family member into our office this month of October for their first visit completely free. As a, as a gift to show them not only how we might identify if they have a problem, but also if they do what they can do to correct it. So there's no obligation as always. There's absolutely no cost. They must call our office to schedule. And I look forward to seeing you in the office. And as always, God bless you and live life well.